Hello, Al Pals. This is Big Al. Welcome to Big Al Presents. My thoughts on Top Gun Maverick, the latest Tom Cruise film just coming out in theaters. I have had a chance to see it, wanted to share my thoughts on it. Before I do so, though, spoiler warning, I may share a few things that you may not want to know. If you don't want to know it, stop here. Go see the film. Come back and see if you agree with what I said about the film. That being said, my thoughts on Top Gun Maverick. Of course, Tom Cruise returns to the role that made him famous, if you don't count risky business. <laughs> uh, Pete Mitchell, call sign Maverick. He is currently a captain. He's been foregoing getting promotions all these years because he wanted to stay a pilot. He is currently a test pilot flying an experimental scramjet, but that program is about to be shut down. But of course, not before he flies one last time in that scramjet against the orders of an admiral played by Ed Harris. And if you ever see Ed Harris play an admiral, it's kind of a scary thing. So of course they establish early on that Maverick is still rubbing people the wrong way. Well, that is fine, but they need him to train a group of pilots to destroy a uranium refinery area or something like that. It's kind of in a special valley um, and they have to fly through a canyon. So there's a lot of special skills, great piloting that needs to be done. And even the best former Top Gun pilots need to be trained by the best of the best. And of course, the best of the best is Maverick because Tom Cruise isn't going to play someone that's not the best of the best because he's Tom Cruise. But that's fine. He, of course, does return to the Top Gun school, is reunited with the lovely Jennifer Connelly, who is actually quite a breath of fresh air in this movie. She is likable and as beautiful as any other time she's been on screen, as far as I am concerned. She has excellent chemistry with Tom Cruise. Not that that's a strange thing. I was just very happy that they got someone that he did share so much chemistry with, because there was a little bit of uh, controversy about not bringing back Kelly McGillis, and they really don't talk about that so much but they they do give tom cruise a love interest that is great on screen with him so that is a good thing so you have tom cruise playing maverick who is of course great as maverick he how can you you can't really say anything negative about tom cruise's performance in this film. He is playing Maverick, just an older version of him. Maybe he's still a little hard headed, but you know, that's, that's the character as it was written. And I think he did a, a great job uh, in this film. And like I said, in Jennifer Connelly, really, a, really some good chemistry there. I, I was really happy. One of the highlights of the film for me though, was the return of Iceman, of course, played by Val Kilmer. He is now an Admiral Tom Kazansky. He is a commander of the U.S. Pacific Fleet. And he is the one who recommended Maverick for this special mission to teach the other Top Gun graduates how to complete this mission. Val is not on screen long, of course, for those people who don't know, he has been suffering from cancer in, in his esophagus. He's had several surgeries, tracheotomies, his voice is very raspy and not really uh, what it was at all. And they write that into the script and he shares a very poignant scene with Tom Cruise and it was to me I think the the highlight of the film uh, because I watched this 
for the performances to see the characters. If you're looking for high flying action, you're going to get that. Trust me. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But Val Kilmer, seeing him return as Iceman and doing it despite his illness, it just gave me all kinds of respect for the actor and a better appreciation for the character of Iceman. Uh, you actually find out that him and Maverick have kept in touch all these years and are our text buddies, uh, basically. So uh, it, it was a nice relationship. I kind of wish we had gotten more with it, but with Val's illness, he's, he's really not able to do as much. Uh, and that was understandable, but, but their scene together, just, just beautiful. Of course, they do bring in a wide variety of pilots. I'm going to go uh, clockwise from the top left, your left, that is. We get the lovely Monica Barrow as Phoenix. I'm just going to use call signs. It's easier that way. You get Miles Teller playing Rooster, who happens to be the son of Goose from the original Top Gun film. Of course, the, the tragic figure uh, uh, losing his life and uh, when he hit the cockpit when he and Maverick had to uh, eject. Uh, of course, there is some great uh, interplay between Miles Teller and Tom Cruise because Maverick did something that kind of put his career back a little bit and he was not happy about it. Uh, so he and Maverick ha kind of have some uh, some tension between them and uh, it, it's, some, it's some good scenes. You have Danny Ramirez as fanboy down there in the right-hand corner. You have Payback, played by Jay Ellis. And then you have Hammer, played by Glenn Powell. I mean, not Hammer, sorry, it's Hangman, played by Glenn Powell. And uh, Hangman seems to be the kind of the Iceman Maverick hybrid. He's good, but he is cocky as hell. Uh, but these... These and a few other uh, pilots and uh, weapons officers are candidates to fly this mission. And of course, Maverick puts them through, through their paces, showing them exactly how good Maverick can be and knocking their chips off their shoulders. And it's, uh, it's a pretty humorous scene uh, when he first takes them up in the air and starts training them. I'll leave you to go see it, uh, but it is very enjoyable. The film is exactly what it needed to be. If you loved Top Gun, the original, you're going to love Top Gun Maverick. It has all the action, all the the beautiful flight cinematography. It has the romance. It has the interpersonal uh, conflicts uh, between Maverick and his trainees, Maverick and the uh, upper echelon admirals. I will say when they say that there are some flight scenes in this movie, I gotta, I gotta admit, it is quite breathtaking watching these action scenes when they are training and then later when they're actually on the mission. It is, it is quite a sight to behold. Compliments to the cinematography, uh, the music, lots of cues from the original film and a beautiful end song by uh, Lady Gaga. The best thing I could say about it, it is the sequel to the original Top Gun that fans of Top Gun want and deserved and thankfully have now been given. 
So Top Gun Maverick. I truly enjoyed it. It is a wonderful diversion of the craziness and terrible things that are going on in the news today. This is the kind of action, adventure, high testosterone, high endorphin ride that a lot of us really need to kind of just escape from the misery that we see in the world today. If you are a fan of the original Top Gun, you're gonna love this film. I love this film. I enjoyed every minute of it. I've given it four solid stars. A few hiccups here and there, but barely, barely a concern. A few story points that I thought might have gone a little askew. Not going to go into too much. Uh, like I said, they might have could have brought up Kelly McGillis, given that character a little more um, mention. Uh, I, I maybe a little bit more into the conflict between him and Rooster, uh, but overall, solid action adventure. If, like I said, if you love Top Gun this is for you. So I hope all of you enjoyed this review and got a little something and maybe get motivated to go see this if you weren't planning to go see it. Anyway, it's definitely, I think, I think it is worth uh, going to see. It's a, it's a good time. Hope you enjoyed this review. Please subscribe to my channel, Big Al Presents, if you haven't already done so. More reviews, rewatches, and rambles in the weeks and months to come. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And share it around to your friends and Top Gun fans and anybody else who you think might want to hear what, what I thought about the film. Uh, until next time, of course, whatever you are going to go see at the movies or watching on streaming or even in your own video collection, I hope you love it and that it gives you all the enjoyment and the entertainment you have been hoping for. Until next time, bless you and take care.